I know nobody asked for this video, nobody asked for my unpopular opinion, but I'm here to give it because you know how boring social media would be if we are all making videos that people ask for, okay? So yeah, my unpopular unsolicited opinions about things that I see on social media or about life in general, okay? Number one, people that do too much PDA, couples that do too much PDA on social media i don't get it okay now i'm not saying the ones that you know it's kind of organic or the ones that were caught in public just you know showing affection to each other like i saw a video recently of Ibuka giving his wife like a lap dance she was so shy such a cute video i'm not referring to videos like that okay i'm referring to videos where husband and wife calm down dress sexy set camera put tripod <laughs> press play and then went back and laid down and started romancing each other they just danced somewhere on the boundary between porn and regular content okay and yeah so i don't find those contents cute i find it very cringy and as a hater i'll go to the comment section expecting to see other haters and the next thing i'm seeing is oh my god you guys are so cute god when you guys are oppressing us singles and i'm like I don't find it cute. I find it extremely cringy. I don't I don't get it. Okay, I don't think I will ever get it. It's very cringy to me. Like, no, please just stop it. Now, the next one also relates to, you know, coupling or couples or relationships. And that is the fact that I feel like some of these fights that we have, all these gender wars that we have, they only exist on social media. Trust me. Men are scum, men are scum. Women are gold diggers, women are gold diggers. A high value man, a low value woman. A red pill, blue pill, pink pill, whatever. <laughs> Feminism, a, a masculinity, toxic masculinity. You see, all those things, put all of them together. They only exist on social media. Men are getting married to gold diggers every single day. They are happy to be in relationship with gold diggers in quotes, okay? And you see women, they know they are marrying scum, but they are happy to marry that scum. So forget all those things that people come on social media and I'm typing, men are scum, happily single. I would rather stay with a bear than with a man. It's only on social media that it exists. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. In real life, men and women are getting married every single weekend. In fact, during the week, in fact, people are getting married left, right and center. People are getting into relationships left, right and center. It's just on social media that everybody has mouth to be talking all those things. In real life, people are marrying each other and entering relationship with all kinds of people anyhow okay and it's not blindly some enter blindly but some open their eyes they know that this man is a no good person or you know that this girl is after my money but they are happy to submit themselves to that person okay so i when i'm seeing all those things on social media i'm just like okay all right like i saw the one recently that everybody was attacking that was saying ah if she meets a man in the morning in the evening she'll build a man and people were attacking her left right and center in my mind i was like you put her even attacking her that reminds me let's not even go into that one self let's just forget about her for now right i have seen some red pill content creators men who bring on women to their shows like all these only fans models all these you know certified gold diggers all these certified um, sugar babies right they bring them onto their show they are attacking these three men they're asking them questions and making these women seem very dumb and very stupid you know basically embarrassing these women in quotes on their show and in the comment section you see men you know typing oh women what is what is the dating scene like now everybody is this all women are this women have uh, the women of these days are this and that that's what you see in the comment section right but you know what happens in reality all these women that go on such shows, their patronage increases after the show. They get more subscribers, they get more followers, they get more male OnlyFans uh, uh, customers, okay? They get more customers, basically. After they go on a show where they were thoroughly embarrassed and revealed to be, you know, dumbbells and stuff like that, they are, that's why they still go to the shows now because they know they're getting something from it. So forget all this stuff on social media. In real life, people are living vastly different lives. Now, on a less serious note, you see seafood. Okay, you see the seafood okra, seafood pasta, I don't get the hype. What is it about seafood that is making people run mad like this? Eh? For me, most seafood tastes like giant crayfish. Okay, they have the same taste, they taste the same. Whether it's calamari, it is prawns, it's shrimps, it's uh, oysters, it's whatever, whatever you want to call all those things. They just taste like crayfish to me. <laughs> I don't get the hype. I don't get what people are really like salivating over when it comes to seafood. Okay. By the way, is snail actually seafood? I mean the land snails. 
a snails actually seafood. It's goat meat seafood, it's chicken seafood. You say you're cooking seafood okra, but there's goat meat, there's beef, there's chicken, there's how is that one seafood? Crayfish are actually shrimps, I think tiny shrimps. They all taste the same. So I don't understand the hype. I don't see why people make it seem like it is premium food. It, to me, yeah, it's not to me. Now this next one, please don't come for me, okay? Okay, don't come for me. Oh. But you see this idea of modest dressing, right? All this modest fashion, modest this, modest that. I feel like it's just virtue signaling for the most part. I feel like most people are just wearing regular clothes that the rest of us wear and they're not talking about modest fashion like there's nothing fashionable about what like it's not it's not groundbreaking it's not i don't know how to explain what i want to say i'm beginning to sound like a hater but if you get it you get it right i'm not saying there are people who are not genuine like modest dressers or stuff like that okay like people who do content with their um what they call the name this muslim attire people that you know dress like muslims dress like people that wear a baya and you know outfit like that even some christians okay some christians that tie scarf and wear long skirts and there's a way they will style it and they will look really modest and chic and nice okay modest fashion to me is not just throwing fabric on your body up and down it's not because you dress from head to toe with 10 yards of lace or 10 yards of cotton that does not make it modest fashion for me modest fashion is actually more technical than some people try to make it look and another side is that you are saying modest fashion but you're kind of sexy it's not because you are covered up that it means that it's modest okay some of you are covered up but all your body is highlighted like you highlight everything i don't have anything against highlighting your you know sexy parts of your body or highlighting your body i have nothing against it what makes me roll my eyes is when you now call it modest fashion i'm like you know what you are doing me i know what you are doing so who are we deceiving you and i know that you know what you are doing <laughs> Please don't come for me, I beg. I, I thank God, beg on. I, I'm not feeling fine this morning. <laughs> they don't have to come for me in my village. Anyway, now related to this one, which is the one I'm sure people will come and, and, and feel bad about, but whatever, I just have to say it, okay? I just have to say it. And it is about fat acceptance, the fat movement, the body positivity movement and stuff like that. Personally, I feel like nobody actually accepts fatness okay nobody actually accepts being overweight okay they're just pretending they're just lying to you <laughs> they're just faking it till they make it and they never make it okay <laughs> I, that's how i feel okay that's how i feel and there are physical markers there are social markers there are health markers that shows that these people are not actually happy with the way they look and they are just milking it for attention they're just milking it to make money online because some people actually get jobs just because they are fat so they're just milking it you know for their online business but in reality they are not happy with the way they are okay i i stand to be corrected but i don't think i am wrong on this because i mean let's just say the truth who actually likes being fat i don't know one person who is overweight and actually likes it i don't know and i know a lot of overweight people both the old, the young, the upcoming, nobody likes being overweight. So when I come and see some people on social media, I'm like, are you a unicorn? What makes you different? Like, nobody likes being overweight. I don't like it, you don't like it, okay? And that is why you see that after a while, a lot of them, or some of them, try to lose the weight. And they won't tell you when they are trying to lose the weight though. They'll still come out and be showing you, ah, I like my body, I'm this and this one, I don't need the summer body, it's a lie. <laughs> It's a, it's a big lie, my sister. I'm not saying that you should go and kill yourself because you are overweight, okay? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be confident. I'm not saying that you shouldn't dress nicely because you are overweight. No, you can't, right? But don't come and lie to us that you love yourself the way you are and you don't want to change anything about your body. It's not true. It might be true for those people who are slightly overweight, okay? There are some people who are... They call themselves plus size, but you're like, sister, see how flat your tummy is. See how big your hips are. Like, you know, the proportions are proportional. So, and they're not like so overweight. They're like what they refer to as mid-size. Maybe they might be like a size 14, size 16, size 16 at most too. Anyway, if they say they like their body the way it is, I can actually believe them. But you see from size 18, especially if you're not that tall, from size 18, 20, 21, 22, 24, stop lying to yourself, okay? <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know why I'm going in on this. Maybe it's just self hatred that is worrying me. Yes, call it that. Okay, call it that because I know that I belong to that category. Yes, call it self hatred. Call it lack of self confidence. Whatever you want to call it. You and I know that nobody actually accepts being fat. Nobody actually likes it. So people are just helpless. They are trying to lose the weight they can't, or they don't know what to do, or they feel helpless because they try but they fall off, and you know they've lost willpower. They are so sick. They are, their body is aching them. They've lost the willpower to actually lose that weight. So they come and now start forming confidence. And then you, who you are not that overweight, you will see them and you're like, ah, this person can be can be size 22, and the person is confident. Then me. It doesn't matter. Let me just be eating. That's how you'll be eating, eating. By the time you now get to size 22, the person has left you there and has lost weight and is now a size 14 or size 16 and you are now sad. But why were you following their mouth? Nobody actually likes being overweight. Not in real life. Not if you check their medical histories. Even that talk of, oh, you can be overweight but you can be healthy. It's a lie. Now, recently, I have been seeing this trend, mostly on TikTok, about people advocating for free form locks or free form hair so basically they just leave their hair the way it is i mean people that have like 4b 4c 4a hair they just leave their hair the way it is let's it just grow out like that and they're like oh it's beautiful it's empowering is this is that i'm sorry that thing looks ugly okay i'm sorry i don't have to say it it looks ugly it, uh, there's a difference between accepting your natural texture or accepting your natural hair there's a difference between that and then looking on kempt and looking homeless like there's a very big difference you people say things like oh why people don't do too much to their hair they do they do go and check go to your local beauty supply store go online and check for hair products why people have a lot of hair products a lot of straightening tools cutting tools uh, grooming tools uh, combing tools they have a lot of hair products okay for their hair to look effortless they actually put a lot of effort in it, including their men. So let's all stop this bullshit talk about, oh, white people don't do too much to their hair. So why do we Africans do too much to our hair? Yes, granted, sometimes we do too much to our hair because we want our hair to look like, you know, white people's hair. We're straightening it, we're adding so many products, we're trying to weigh it down, we're trying to, you know, basically manipulate the hair out of the hair for the hair to become straight. I get that, right? Like, it's not necessary. You don't have to do all of that. You can actually accept a natural hair, hair texture and just work with it the way it is, okay? So you can actually put your hair in a nice bun you can put your hair in a nice twist out or you can even just leave your hair like just free uh what they call it free afro but let it look good okay that free from hair that is growing like this growing like that great no 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 it even has a name i think it's free form or something like that it's not fine it's not cute it just looks unkempt it now makes people even hate natural hair even more self you're not even making people accept their natural hair they're not like if that's what my hair is gonna look like i'd rather i rather shave it <laughs> I'd rather use chemicals and relaxer and straighten the hell out of it. If if that's the look that I will end up look, if that's how I'm going to end up looking, then I'd rather shave my head. Okay? And related to even this natural hair thing, I've heard a lot of men say that you know they like women with their natural hair, they like women with their natural beauty. You know they don't really like makeup, lashes. My husband is one of those people anyway. He has been telling me right from day one that he has never liked all these attachments. Like he can like the ones that look like this, that look like natural hair somehow. You know, he likes braids, he likes waving, he likes natural hairstyles, but you see all this our slick hair, all this, you know, all this, you know, then all this bone straight kind of hair, then lashes, makeup, like the way I look now, he doesn't like it, right? And a lot of times, we women will be like, it's a lie, men say they don't like it, but they actually go for such women, this and that and this and that. The truth of the matter is that I actually believe that men genuinely do not like these things, okay? Now, when a woman does it right and when she's overall pretty, they can manage it, okay? Like, they can manage it. It's like shiny objects. She looks attractive from far, so they, they will gravitate towards her. Yes, I agree. But when men say that they actually like women without makeup, they actually like women's natural beauty, I actually agree because I have seen a lot of women look uglier with makeup okay in person okay on camera <laughs> that's why anytime i finish filming videos i just clean my makeup off okay i can do minimal makeup to go out though but i mean this like full face beat you know glam look it doesn't actually look good in person okay so when i do it i do it for the camera because on the cam because the camera does not really capture it the way it looks in person but when you see such looks in person like when you see some makeup looks in person on IG, it will look fire with all the filter and stuff. It will look like fire makeup. Oh my god, this is beautiful. But in person, you're like, 
what is this? It looks disgusting, it looks irritating, it looks too much. I've gone for people's weddings and they look worse. Like they look worse than they look on a normal day, okay? Especially when they now put highlighter everywhere, they now overdo their lips, they now put lip gloss, the lips are basically almost falling from lip gloss. You know, it doesn't look good, right? However, what I want to add is that men say they like natural beauty. Emphasis on the beauty. <laughs> emphasis on the beauty if you're not naturally beautiful uh, your own does not follow you don't scout okay there are girls who are naturally beautiful there are people who need a little bit of help to hide some blem- i don't mean that they're ugly okay i don't believe anybody's like fully ugly but there are people who naturally they're just glowing they are fine you know everything on points their brows their eyes their eye color their lashes natural lashes their skin tone their you know skin everything is glowing and fresh and looking nice right there are people like that but there are also people who naturally they need a little bit of help they need to conceal some things they need to you know enhance some things so yes i believe them when they say they like natural beauty but emphasis on the beauty okay the beauty must be there naturally <laughs> now the next one for me and i should have said this one earlier is about nigerian food okay like nigerian food bloggers or food content creators i feel like or not just even food i feel like even nigerian food in general you know africans we like to pride ourselves even black people we like to pride ourselves you know with the fact that oh we like spices we know how to spice our food we spice our food well white people just use salt and pepper and these they are so boring but africans we know how to spice our chicken very well okay i get that but i actually believe that sometimes we over spice our food i i don't get it like sometimes i'm watching some people's video and i'm like it's enough what are you adding you're adding inside you want to you want to spice your chicken you want to do barbecue chicken or you want to do regular chicken or you want to fry chicken or whatever you want to do chicken or you want to make stew you want to make whatever the food is you want to make it even soup you want to make soup right but let's just focus on you know meats chicken stews and you know stuff like that you want to make jollof fries you want to fry the chicken or make the chicken and next thing you add thyme you add curry you add oregano you add rosemary you add uh, chicken seasoning you add fish seasoning you add beef seasoning you add cinnamon you add like, what is is too much you have a special spice you have holy ghost spice you have, <laughs> i'm like what is it <laughs> that what, what you add garlic you add ginger you add turmeric what inside want what like calm down now it's too much i'll not be asking myself how is this thing going to taste at the end of the day granted you know you have your taste buds your taste buds are already used to it so it tastes good to you but if you really calm down and just you know dial it down a bit you will see that what you actually like is the taste of the spice not the taste of the chicken like what you are eating what is triggering that want because they actually add msg to some of these things which makes you want more of it right so what you are actually describing as what you like is actually the msg is actually the sodium and the excess spice it is not the chicken itself okay so you're better off just like you might as well just mix all those spices in a, in a bowl and be licking the spice <laughs> since you like spice too much so yeah i feel like we should dial it down it's too much even when it comes to some big things or some you know fried stuff like i mean like our regular nigerian chin chin puff puff um you know egg roll fish roll all those things they don't need too much spice, okay? Even some kind of bread. Bread does not need, not even spice, I mean. They don't need too much flavoring, okay? So, the regular just um, butter, because butter adds flavor to food. So, the butter, the salt, sugar, nutmeg in some in some, in some some things. Let's say in puff puff or even in regular chin chin. Nutmeg, maybe sometimes a little bit of cinnamon. It's enough. It's, you don't need to add pepper, salt, and maggi to, to puff puff or akara. Akara self is just salt, pepper, and onions, and it's enough. But no, because you're a food blogger, you're a food content creator, or maybe you're just a regular person, but because you want to make your food sweet, you're adding curry time to, to, to akara. See, eh? The best tasting puff puff, the best tasting bread, the best tasting, even some cakes, are the ones that just have the basic flavors and spices. Basic salt, sugar, pinch of salt i mean sugar nutmeg or you know the regular just because yeast actually has a taste right that's it then the last one for now because i have so many unpopular opinions but the ones i can remember for this video the last one for now is watching people do get ready with me and they are spraying five or six expensive perfumes i'm like so what's the point 
what is the point of spending so much money on buying let's say a, a jacket aina perfume right you spend so much money buying that perfume and then you layer it with tom ford with uh, christian dior with rihanna with beyonce with this one perf like everybody's perfume you're just layering everything on top to me i'm like so what was not the point you could have just like i feel like you're not even like i don't have to explain what i want to say that i feel like you're not getting the best use of each perfume there's nothing unique about your smell basically that's my point there's nothing unique about how you smell if you're going to be smelling like 100 things at the same time like there's no i don't know i'm not saying you cannot layer perfume right you can layer maybe maximum two perfumes on top of you know your body splash or your body spray or your scented body mist or scented body uh, cream body lotion right you can layer it with one or two perfumes and that's fine but when you are putting three or four expensive perfumes i'm like that's a waste why are you not buying that specific expensive perfume if you're not going to get the particular blend of scents that is in that particular perfume you're now covering everything up with other scents make it make sense i know i might be wrong let me know in the comment section what you guys think about it but for me personally it does not make sense to me okay but yeah that brings me to the end of this video these are not even my opinions these are facts okay go and quote me in your dissertation don't take it as oh someone sharing her opinion on the internet no 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 it's not it's not my opinion it's facts <laughs> go and google google search it you see all these things as facts there anyway <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you all in my next one bye guys